é. Vamos continuar, né? Lá para o banco familiar para organizar seus pensamentos. Nossa, eu vou lembrar de nada disso. Para ontem, né? Vamos continuar. Ai. É ali embaixo. Vamos ver que pensamento. Como sempre, cinco anos foi pra cantar com um diálogo, né? Ai. Vamos esperar calmamente, né? Do you want some alone time to think? Uh, all right, then, time I won't disturb you. Tá. Eita, você viu renderizando as coisas rápidas ali? Tá tudo tão rápido. Ah, não precisa não sei nada. Hum. Eu achei que abrir aquelas coisas. A dança de Sub Zero, gente. E é a hora dela. Ok. Um, why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Ok, then. I'll see you later. Hum. Até daqui a pouco. Have you figured it out yet, Traveler? Time is ticking. Eu acho que eu sei a resposta. Você acha que sabe a resposta? Eu não vou lembrar não, véio. será que ele já vai dar a resposta? Eu não vou lembrar de nada do que aconteceu ontem, velho. Demora curta. Isso é mais legal. E aí, olha o chão que não tá renderizado. <risos> aí, renderizou agora. Esse aqui tá renderizado? Tá. Ué, cadê a cama? <risos> Eu vou falar com quem? Ih, tá lá no chão. Caramba, tá renderizado legal as coisas aqui, hein? Ó. Tá daquele jeito. Tô falando, a HD não tá aguentando, pai. You're back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging, but are you ready to take your Subzerius exam and graduate from the festival? Ih, rapaz, não vou lembrar. Pode perguntar, professora. <risos> ok. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Tem que fechar a janela. Ué. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common: a lack of human presence. And those spaces remind me of dreams, like the one I had in the Avidia Forest, except these have no sign of human presence. Pô, vou errar de novo isso aqui, velho. I need to carefully think things through. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times and the day of Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. And it grants knowledge to the people. Hmm. Okay, Nahida said. No, okay, pay, pay, okay. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. I can't say this. Okay, I think I'll be called this. Okay, eh? 
The moon, illusions, and lies. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, verdade por trás dos sonhos. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream. Rather, the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. Mas você já sabe. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Que merda. People in Sumeru think they don't dream. But the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing. Acho que eu errei de novo. Ai. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Eu acho que é isso, não. Acho que eu errei. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now. Correct answer. Now. How did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Acertei, tudo acertei. É, o Akasha, né? É uma manifestação do poder da Deus da sabedoria. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. Ele compila, né, a sabedoria do de todo o povo. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. <laughs> And it grants knowledge to the people. Uma caixa que precisa de ignorar para ser operada. A caixa relia no poder de Gnosis para operar. Não parece certo. Oh, ok. Esses criaturas de sonho controlados na floresta também recebem seu poder do Archon de Dendro, certo? Isso explicaria por que a caixa tem a habilidade de controlar as pessoas também. Mas... Is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So, in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Parma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions, and the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. So it was all a dirty trick. The real story is that the sages from the academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams. Os sábios não pretendem nem parar aí. Oh, by the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the Samsara? Discurso do Grande Sábio. The Grand Sage said, "Go celebrate the birth of that God to your heart's content." Did he mean something more? Sim. Apaga o tom. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night. Those spaces kept disappearing before my eyes. But as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing. But as soon as tá, já sabe que é esse. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and calma, deixa eu interpretar aqui só Assos... não consigo associar essa ideia. Hum... Calma, aparição de aparecimento de sonho, aparição de desconhecimento de espaço. Será que é esse discurso do grande sábio? Nossa, fadiga mental. Vou botar com o discurso do grande sábio. É, então deve ser esse aqui mesmo. E então, esse aqui? Aqui é de terceira. Hmm, produção em massa de sonhos. Correct. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus festival along with everyone else's. 
while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzeru's festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory, and the Akasha is... Dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy five. right? <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well hmm. is an excellent habit to get into. Okay, so that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals. Gente, a gente está dormindo ainda, né? Eu acho que a gente está dormindo ainda. All right, last question. Who am I? Hum. Quem sou eu? Ela é a lua. Ilusões, deixa eu ver. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions a hint that we're all dreaming? Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions hinting at the sage's deception of Acho que ela é a lua, velho. They say that alchemical divination is the dendro archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon... <laughs> so you noticed. Você é a Lorde Menor, Uzunari. Uh -huh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. Nossa, ela é a Lorde Menor. That wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Hmm. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you at all. <laughs> Say, Pio. Now that you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny, thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusuke. Eu me, é muitas perguntas para você. Like Mas esse não parece ser um momento oportuno, né? Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. Olha. Ah. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Hmm, tá. Por que você não poderia simplesmente nos dizer a verdade? Por que o sábio né, consegue evitar que as pessoas percebam sobre os efeitos colaterais dos sonhos produzidos em massa? Por que o sonho é sobre o festival? É. You asked me this question before. My answer was, it would literally blow your minds. Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. Tá. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own, your notion of reality and dream would be thrown into irreversible confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. É, porque você não poderia simplesmente dizer a verdade, não. É, como os sábios, né, consegue evitar que as pessoas percebam. Firstly, this dream we're in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced this Subzeru's festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the Subzeru's festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. That reminds Paimon. Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia forest. But couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendril can a person gain the Dendril element's dream enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Meanwhile, everyone else has no idea that they are in the Subzeru's festival samsara while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Uh, sobre os efeitos colaterais dos sonhos produzidos em massa. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when? 
might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much that people can tolerate. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with, like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! Hmm. É... O que o sonho é sobre o festival, né? I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? Even you don't know the reason? Wow. Now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? Eu? Ah, informações sobre a caixa de custo do grande sábio. Sonhos vazios. Those spaces remind me of dreams, like the one I had in the Avidia Forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that God to your heart's content. Acho que é isso. Celebrate the birth of that god? Could it mean? Será que. É, por que você não poderia dizer isso pra mim de verdade? Não tem mais pergunta. É a mesma coisa, né? É a mesma coisa. Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Subzerus Festival Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the academia do this behind their archons' back? This is ridiculous! Mm. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. Pô, travando aqui, eu tô imaginando que a gente for andar pelo mundo, cara. Ontem não tava travando assim. Travou um pouco, né? Mas travou bem menos. A sun and a moon? Olha como tá. Eu vim pra cá não tá renderizando a, a longa distância, não. O bip. Nossa senhora. Eu vou te contar como sair da Samsara amanhã. Até mais tarde. Ah, tá, tá renderizando muito lento. Nossa. Acho que era... Não sei se a resposta do Gente Sabe é a certa, tá? Eu acho que talvez sim, talvez não. Porque ela não me deu uma afirmação se era certa. Ela só... Foi uma hipótese que eu dei a ela, né? Que poderia ser. Então, eu acho que podia ser qualquer uma das três ali. Onde está a Nahida? Será que... Será que ela morreu? Ih, será que ela morreu? Nossa... Será que ela morreu? It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Uh. Paimon can't believe it. Wait, so what about that other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Is she She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. No, that... The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. Tá cinco pés, pô. So another Junior Zod appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Junior Zod is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. Será que ela morreu? But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Junior Zod. Puppets are stiff, 
and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just there as filler. And you know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness, and it was you who inspired her! So you do remember her after all! Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she still... Yeah. Isso significava muito para ela. Você é uma fonte muito gentil, né? Você é uma fonte gentil. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real archon. Eu acho que ela é a fonte de todos que a gente pintou. E a gente não vai ter que lutar contra ela, mas sim contra... Tipo... Contra as pessoas, né? Do que estão no governo. Eu não podia ser um Se eu fosse um competent archon... I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzeris festival with so many yeah, morreu mesmo. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the sage's fault, and theirs alone. I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. Mm. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Tá, vamos acabar com isso. But how do we do that? Although the Subzerus Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. E quem é o hospedeiro? Huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Fazer ele em outra coisa? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind. And the server really will bring you gold and mora. Ele pensa que acabou. Será acordar na mais fácil? Our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served. E tem que estar em podramos no hospedeiro e depois acordamos ele. Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. How are we going to find them though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, Everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, during this time, I'll be out of town. Mm. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Mm. Yes. I want to try something. There must still be a small whisper. I don't know if there's a possibility. E funcionar porque não fez só antes, não tinha uma mulher. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. Precisa acabar. Hum... Paimon's 
still a little upset that we've come this far only for Dunyarzad to... She was such a good person, with such a simple wish. Me sinto muito desmoralizado, né, agora. Yeah. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering, do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? Improvável. Por conhecer o plano, saberiam mais facilmente né, que estavam sonhando. Mais difícil que um sonhador inocente perceba que está sonhando. Né? Mais difícil que um sonhador inocente. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control, like Nahida and us. Como é que vai ser essa agulha no parede? Né? Who do you think the host of the dream is? Faria do Cavaleiro das Flores. O cara com as roupas né, muito estranhas. É, tem que ser ele. Vamos, vamos fazer as perguntas para ele. No próximo, né? Fim do festival. O jeito que tá lagando aqui.